understanding, laying a wreath, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, laying a wreath. This is a phrase you might come across in news, literature, or even in everyday conversation. So, let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in your own communication. Laying a wreath is a phrase that refers to the act of placing a wreath, which is a circular arrangement of flowers and leaves, at a particular location as a sign of respect or remembrance. This is often done at memorials, ceremonies, or on special occasions to honor someone who has passed away or to commemorate a significant event. The key elements of this phrase are wreath, a symbolic circular arrangement of flowers and leaves, laying, the act of placing or setting down something carefully. Understanding the context of laying a wreath is important. This tradition has roots in many cultures and dates back centuries. It's commonly seen in memorial services, especially for soldiers or notable figures. Commemorative events, like Remembrance Day or Veterans Day, personal remembrance, at grave sites or memorials of loved ones. Each culture might have its unique way of observing this practice, but the underlying sentiment of honor and remembrance is universal. Now, let's look at how to use this phrase in sentences. 1. The president is laying a wreath at the war memorial today. 2. During the ceremony, they remembered the fallen heroes by laying wreaths. 3. It's a tradition to lay a wreath at the site of the historical event each year. Notice how the phrase is used to denote an act of respect and remembrance in different contexts. Laying a wreath is more than just a phrase. It's a powerful symbol of respect, honor, and memory. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate the depth and significance of this expression. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using it like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.